good morning students how are you all are good now i want to tell few things about covid 19 wear face mask wear gloves maintain social distance keep yourself clean and follow personal hygiene stay home stay safe and stay protected now let us come to the subject previous two classes we learn about the world of the living world of plants we in this lesson we learn about form and functions of plants then we learn habitat then we learn modifications and adaptations all these previously i taught you i think you are all very clear with all the answers this class i'm not going to teach anything i'm going to give notes for you in every slide you have that question and the answer you have to see this get a separate notebook write the notes legibly without mistakes and keep it with you you will learn the answers this sunday that is 31st me you are going to have the weekly test only from this portion all should learn the answers and get ready for the unit test on 31st may 2020 now let us start with short very short answers the first one that is very short answers first question classify the plants on the basis of their habitats answer two types of habitats or aquatic habitat and terrestrial habitat aquatic habitat is classified into two types such as freshwater habitat and marine water habitat terrestrial habitat is classified into three types such as forest grassland and desert once again i'll read the question and read the answer classify the plants on the basis of their habitats answer the two types of habitats are aquatic habitat and terrestrial habitat aquatic habitat is classified into two types such as freshwater habitat and marine water habitat terrestrial habitat is classified into three types such as forest grassland and desert second question identify the desert plant from the following cactus hydrilla mango and rose answer desert plant cactus i'll repeat the question and the answer identify the desert plant from the following cactus hydrilla mango and rose answer desert plant cactus third question define the term habitat answer a dwelling place of an animal plant or other organism to live and reproduce is called habitat define the term habitat answer a dwelling place of an animal plant or other organism to live and reproduce is called habitat i want to tell the meaning for the word term term means word what is the meaning for the word habitat dwelling means living the place where that uh, organism or animal or plant live that is only called dwelling place now let us come to the fourth question relate the term leaves and photosynthesis answer the green leaves are essential for preparing the food because they contain green pigment called chlorophyll the preparation of food is known as photosynthesis photosynthesis 
is essential for plant growth once again i'll read the question and read the answer relate the terms leaves and photosynthesis answer the green leaves are essential for preparing the food because they contain green pigment called chlorophyll preparation of food is known as photosynthesis photosynthesis is essential for plant growth now we pass on to row number 2 short answer first question why do you call jasmine plant a twiner answer jasmine plant has weak stem it cannot stand straight on its own it must climb on any support to survive so jasmine plant is called as twiner once again i'll read the question and read the answer why do you call jasmine plant a twiner answer jasmine plant has weak stem it cannot stand straight on its own it must climb on any support to survive so jasmine plant is called a twiner that is survive means live pass on to the short answer 2 compare the tap root and fibrous root systems first let us read about tap root system it consist of a single root it grows straight down into the ground seen in dicotyledonous plants once again i will tell about tap root system it contains it consist of a single root it grows straight down into the ground seen in dicotyledonous plants the next type is fibrous root it consists of a cluster of fruits cluster means bunch or group roots are thin and uniform in size seen in monocotyledonous plants once again i'll tell about fibrous root system it consists of a cluster of fruits roots are thin and uniform in size seen in monocotyledonous plants now pass on to the third question that is distinguish between terrestrial and aquatic habitats distinguish means differentiate terrestrial means land aquatic means water water habitat and land habitat first let us read about terrestrial habitats they are found on land they include forest grassland desert farms towns and cities they are classified into three types forest habitat grassland habitat and desert habitat example teak tree bamboo cactus etc once again i'll read terrestrial habitat they are found on land they include forest grassland desert farms towns and cities they are classified into three types forest habitat grassland habitat and desert habitat example teak tree bamboo cactus aquatic habitats they are found in water they include areas permanently as well as occasionally covered by water they are classified into two types fresh water habitat and marine water habitat example lotus water lily sea grass aquatic habitat they are found in water they include areas permanently as well as occasionally covered by water they are classified into two types fresh water habitat and marine water habitat 
example lotus water lily sea grass pass on to the next question list out the plants present in your school garden answer neem tree acacia tree clitoria hibiscus bougain villa etc list out the plants present in your school garden answer neem tree acacia tree clitoria hibiscus bougain villa etc next roman number is diagram you are going to draw neat and labeled diagram of tap root fibrous root and parts of a plant first diagram is tap root you have to label all the parts no need to put color primary or tap root secondary root tertiary root rootlets these three parts you have to label in that picture next one fibrous root you have to draw a grass picture and you have to show the thin uniform size roots here all the roots arise from the base of the plant the third one is parts of a plant you draw it neatly but no need to put color repeatedly i am telling don't put color in your notebook only you have to draw by using pencil labeling also you have to do only by pencil here primary root secondary root root system then all the parts above the soil shoot system here you have to label flower fruit stem leaf bud node internode all these parts you have to label in the parts in label in your notebooks again once again i am telling write it neatly legibly without mistakes and keep the notebook with you you have to learn this weekly test that is it will be conducted on 31st may 2020 that day we are going to get questions only from this portion so prepare yourself i think everything is clear for you you learn well and get good marks in the weekly test also all the best thank you students